Welcome to Alex Saturday, aka Mod Monday 2.0, aka Alex Saturday. Sorry, I told you I wouldn't do the voice. Anyway, if this is your first time here, this is the place to come to find out which mods to give a shit about. So this week we've got a look into one skin, the Mauser C96, as well as one sick dude and some other hot mentions, and I mean hot mentions. So let's get right into the skins. The Mauser C96 could be better. I think it sounds cool and the animations are pretty, well, uh, n never mind. So obviously there are some unfixed bugs with this and the creator has already confirmed that he's going to be fixing them. The one not obvious improvement I would like to suggest is the texture. It looks very dull and ragged, which I don't know, maybe the intended design, but it doesn't appeal to me and I just think it looks blech. Prospect Attrition is a really well-made map that resembles Nova Prospect from Half-Life 2. I will say that this barely made it into the sick dude category, as there are a couple areas that are extremely difficult. Like so difficult that I had to die and replay it 10 times. All it would take to make this easier is to give the players some more cover, make the room larger, or just decrease the enemy count. The majority of what you're going to find in this map is just combat. The quality of the map's design is actually pretty polished, but there's nothing that's going to knock your socks off. If I were to dedicate this to any particular player, it would be a Half-Life 2 fan that's looking for a challenge. If you're neither of those two, then I would say that this mod is not quite for you. There is one small element of Combine Munitions Cache that I would like to point out, and that is the ability to use man hacks. All you do is pick it up off the ground and just throw it in the air, and then it deploys automatically. Not only does this look really cool, but it feels awesome. I would almost recommend just playing this map to everyone for the specific reason. The rest of the map is not really anything special, though I don't feel like you're going to waste your time either. The action of holding a man hack could use a little work, and I would love to be able to store it into your wrist pockets. But for now, I would just like to see this in other mods. It's the year 1700 and something. You've just enlisted in the resistance against the Combine, and it's time to learn how to shoot some cannons. The cannon range is something that I did not expect to come from Alex Mods, at least not right now. And quite frankly, I don't know what I was expecting, but I was really surprised at the level of detail that this mod has. Thankfully, there is an instruction board that tells you exactly how to operate the cannons. And I say thankfully because it's extremely complicated. Okay, it's complicated because I have no idea what I'm doing. But once you get the hang of it, it's really not that hard. This is a mod that I would show to my dad but anybody would enjoy this learning experience. There are some problems, like the cannonball stuffer pole is easily glitched into the cannon, which is annoying. Also, it says light the fuse thingy with a match, but there is no match, not that I could find, so I used a campfire. You can also use a remote detonator on them as an alternative, which is great for looking at the cannon fire without it being in your face. The only things that I would change about this mod are obviously the bugs, but also just make an auto loader. I got to a point where I just wanted to watch the cannon fire and try and hit targets instead of having to load it every single time I wanted to shoot. Quarantine Street really earns a mention just because it's really cool, but the main reason I'm mentioning it is because of the use of the flashlight and the atmosphere. The first half of this map is no combat at all, it's just you, a flashlight, and some alleyways behind some buildings. Because I had no weapon, I was more vulnerable, and because I was using a flashlight, I felt like there was something that was going to scare me. These two elements combined made for a really nice feeling, almost like I was playing a Resident Evil game. The map does introduce combat at a certain point, and it more or less becomes an average combat map. And honestly, holding the flashlight at this point just became annoying, because I would drop it to reload, and then a zombie would kick it off, and I would have to go look for it. I think if other modders wanted to implement the wieldable flashlight, they should make it so that it fits in your wrist pocket, so you don't have to drop it on the ground every time you need to do something with your left hand. Victory Mine is a short combat and puzzle experience. The thing that I want to bring to your attention here is the world itself. Not only does it just look beautiful by itself, but when I looked up at the start of the map at the vast expanse above my head, I was filled with awe. After a little bit of combat, you're going to use an elevator that'll take you up to some catwalks. And this scene just reminded me so much of Half-Life 2, particularly that of Half-Life 2 Episode 2. So the two key takeaways from this map are 1. Create more maps with vast expanses, and 2. Try to harness a map design that feels like Half-Life 2 and the episodes. 
Terminal surveillance uses a new idea of controlling gates and watching monitors that your enemies will appear on. Unfortunately for this particular map, with the amount of monitors and their layout, as well as the buttons, it was just too overwhelming. I'm not saying that this is something that I want to see all the time, but when done well, I think it could fit well in some mods. The Star Wars Tatooine test map is an absolute tease. There's not much to do other than look at things in this mod, but my god are the things good to look at. The detail in the modeling as well as the textures are just so perfect. I mean heck, even the sky is gorgeous. So there is a blaster but you can't shoot it, but it's good to look at. And there's a walker, but you can't drive it, but you can look at it. However, my friends, I am here to say that there is a functional lightsaber. And you know, I don't remember the other lightsaber map working as well as this one. I was surprised to find out that this lightsaber could block the combine shots. Though it is difficult to block their shots intentionally, I felt like a badass when I did. Seeing this mod gives me a new hope for the LX Workshop. I'm crossing my fingers to see all of these models functioning, not in a galaxy far, far away. So that's all for this week's video, and I'm going to forgo the mod maker advice. But in exchange, I'll give you a tidbit of information. I have it on good authority to believe that the next GoldenEye map made by Eagle One could be coming out next week. So until then, we'll be seeing you.